Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas, and we're here today with the all-new Fronius Ignis 150. So this is the newest unit, battery-operated unit that just came out with by Fronius. Um, so you're familiar with the old AccuPockets. So this replaced the AccuPocket, and it's called the Ignis 150. Uh, the unit I have here is a stick model only, but you can get a stick TIG model. So in this video, we're going to go over the features, what it comes with, and then we're going to weld with it. Uh, and check it out how the arc characteristics are and everything. I'm sure it's going to be great. The old AccuPockets were awesome. So what's new about this unit though is that it is twice the battery life so you can run twice the amount of stick electrodes through this unit. So right now this thing's rated at 30, 330 second electrodes and then roughly about half of that on the eighth inch electrode. So um, and it goes up to 150 amps so you can push it to 530 second 7018. Usually, a lot of people that we've sold these to, they, uh, they're running 332nd or 8th inch. And then this unit also, you can weld with it while it's plugged in and charging. But awesome carrying case comes with. Um, it's all tight water sealed. So inside there, the Ignis fits in a nice little pocket. Pop that out. It's 26.8 pounds. It's fairly light, not too bad. Um, comes with our stinger, our stick electrode holder, our ground. And then I got the charger here, which is all plugged in. This thing's relatively light. It's about five pounds, uh, but that's our charger on that unit. So you can see here too, and if you're familiar with the old AccuPockets or if you're not, you got charging and then you got quick charge. So quick charge will get you to about 80% battery life in about 30 minutes. Full charge is about an hour and 10 minutes on quick charge. Um, a lot of people like to run that quick charge uh, just to get it back up to 80%. But like I said, you can run this unit plugged in charging and still weld with it. So that's pretty unique to this particular thing. The other competitor stuff, you know, either you gotta swap batteries or you gotta take the battery out and charge it. Um, so this is pretty unique. I'll pop this case down, I'll turn it on. So what I noticed too, so the stick unit here comes with the Amphenol connection right here for a TIG pedal, but this is just the stick only package. It has a gas solenoid so you can add a TIG, TIG unit later on. Um, which is pretty awesome. I mean, it's a relatively inexpensive machine for what it actually is and what you're gonna get with it. So here's our power button, we'll fire it up. Came with three bars of charge, uh, very awesome. So you got your stick, our cellulose stick, which is 6010, and then our TIG, and you just toggle down through those and you go back up to stick. So we're gonna run 7018, and it goes all the way up to 150, and it goes down to 10 amps. So pretty high range of what what we can do with this unit. And like I said, 26.8 pounds, fairly light. They've been very, very popular. The, the AccuPocket was very, very popular. Obviously, Fronius has been in this game for a long time with these battery-operated units. They know what they're doing. This unit just has twice the life output on the battery. So three-year warranty still on the unit. Um, one of the downsides to the unit is, I guess not everybody is a Fronius dealer. Um, and to get these serviced, you got to go to a certified Fronius dealer. So if you're apprehensive about buying it because you're not close to a Fronius dealer, the Ignis here actually on the service side has to go back to Fronius to get the battery fixed or anything on this unit has to go back to Fronius. So don't be scared. If you're not close to a Fronius dealer um, and you buy it at bakersgas.com, you can always send it to us. We'll take care of it or you can send it right back to Fronius. They'll take care of it as long as it's under warranty. Um, let's plug this thing in and uh, I'll get it set up and we'll try some 718 on it. All right, so we got our Ignis here. I got it on 85 amps. We've got 332nd, 7018. Uh, we're going to give it a shot here. I got a little piece tacked up, a little T joint. Um, see how it runs. Very, very nice arc start was really good. Um, you can adjust that on these units, but really, really nice. It ran super smooth. You would think, a lot of questions we get are like, well, how does it run on the bat? It's actually a very, very smooth arc 
smooth start. That battery power is just, it's fluid. It's very, very consistent. Runs really good. You can see we didn't lose any bars, so it says it can run 30, 30 second electrodes, which is pretty awesome. Uh, that'll get you out of a pinch. So about two years ago, I had a little project. Neat, could, didn't have electricity nearby. Grabbed the old AccuPocket, and I ran about 20, well, probably a little less than 20, maybe 17 stick electrodes on this little project, and it was awesome. Didn't have to charge it, just brought it out to where I was at, and uh, worked out really, really well. So let me chip this leg off, and uh, but yeah, if you guys got any questions or comments or anything on this unit, please leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them, and uh, subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for some more. Thanks for watching.